This is James Corden. I'm on work experience for West Ham TV, trying to get a regular job, and I'm interviewing today the captain, the living legend that is Mr. Mark Noble. Oh. Who's the best player you've played with in a West Ham team? For pure moments, yeah. and I'm going to have to say Dimitri. Dimitri Payet. I think that season was... Um, because it, it it was all rolled into one last season at bowling, um, yeah. the free kicks he scored, the goals he scored was um, at times it was like you actually looked at him and thought, how are you doing that? Do you know what I mean? And uh, so I'm going to say him. Yeah. Best game you think you've played in for West Ham? Last ever game at the bowling. Really? Yeah. Not obviously my best performance, but the actual game, the the, the, the drive to the game. Mm. Coming back from 2-1 down to win 3-2 and it was just the, the, the noise that night, I'll, I'll never forget, like the, it, like the smoke in the air and it was a special, special game. I've had some special ones but that one was definitely up there. Best goal you've ever scored? Oh God, I've scored some bangers. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm going to say Leicester away. You can't even remember it. Last season? Yeah. The volley? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think just the technique and the way we needed that goal at the time. Uh, that coach journey on the way home, we obviously, I think Southampton, Everton scored a late goal against Southampton and that made us math mathematically safe. So yeah. um, that goal was really important. So I'm going to say that goal, yeah. It was also an epic celebration, which you've not always been known for, but no, I liked no, it. No, well, I don't, I, don't, I don't get much um, practice celebrating, no, do I? But the arms crossed, I loved it. Yeah. I really I felt did. like it could, it could become a thing. Mate, yeah. Well, I'm going to have to score a few more if I want to keep, you know what I mean? Mbappe oh, normally, innit? That's what the lads took the mic for because they said, why are you doing Mbappe celebration? Oh, does he do that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. I thought he was like a knee slide. No. But yours was just more a stood up. I liked it. Yeah, well, no. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice time. It, it, it was more seeing the lads' shock on their face that I'd actually hit that volley. <laughs> it was seeing the shock on your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, true. Well, I do it all the time in training. Of course. <laughs> of course. Okay, talking of training, best player in this squad at training? I'm going to have to say, in the five asides, Lucas Perez is one of the best finishers of a football I've ever seen. Really? No. Nah. Ever? Ever. He, he's unbelievable. In the five asides, his left foot is so dangerous. If he gets a chance, he just smashes it so hard with precision. Um, so I'm going to say, f for that reason, him. Let's talk about this season. Because I think all West Ham fans have a renewed sense of optimism. Does it feel like you're playing in a different stadium to the stadium you were playing in last year? Uh, black and white, to yeah. be honest. Because I know, look, listen, I've always said results are all that matters, winning football matches. And obviously, um, the way we've, we, we started terribly at the beginning of the season and... But we had a philosophy of the way the manager wanted us to play. And I think that's shown now, um, the results we've picked up. Um, and and that's, it's only been six months. So if we keep playing and keep introducing quality like Felipe and bringing Snods back and Issa Diop, Valbuena, uh, Lucas in goal, you know, we've, we've, we've brought in some fantastic players. Um, I think I think for West Ham now, it's, a, it's an exciting time. And me being at the club for such a long time... And, um, it's an enjoyable time to be here.